Hey guys, I'm the last one, so I'm glad you guys stayed back. In fact, I heard uh, Golden State Warriors uh, team was in the lobby a few minutes ago, and you guys are still here, so thank you. I can't compete with them, but I'm going to try. Um, my name is Ashish Rangnaker. I am the CEO and co-founder of Bench Prep. Um, we are a learner success platform. Um, taking a step back, literally, um, assessments, credentialing, and licensing touch almost all aspects of the US educational and professional ecosystem. And that's kind of well known. I, I don't need to kind of prove that. Um, 100 million standardized assessments are given through K through 12 students every year. Um, and the interesting part was the, the chart on the right side where almost more than one third of the workers in, in US have to be licensed. Like every doctor, every nurse, you go for a haircut, um, your cost, uh, the, the, and everyone in the salon has to be kind of licensed and so on and so forth. Right? Um, there are almost 3,000 um, credentialing bodies and licensing organizations that test 45 million learners um, every year. Right? So all the way from the college admissions kind of piece of it, uh, with GMAC and uh, medical colleges and ETS, to on the other side, these are uh, professional certifications like IEEE, CFA Institute, um, actuaries, and, and so on and so forth. Um, for the longest time, um, the relationship with these kind of um, credentialing bodies and the learner was kind of based on one day, the exam day. Right? That was the only kind of touch point. Now, these credentialing bodies are realizing that they can have a much bigger impact if they can actually help the learner through the candidate journey. Right? So not just kind of touch um, on that one exam day, but actually kind of create this experience and have much uh, drive a much bigger impact by helping them um, succeed. And that's where we come in. Right? So we work with credentialing bodies and assessment companies um, to help the end user, the learner, succeed. We are not a direct-to-consumer company. We are not a content company. We are not a learning management system. Typically, learning management systems focus on the management of learning. We focus on the learner's success. Right? Um, so the first thing that we do is we deliver an unmatched learning experience. Right? Very personalized, extremely robust from a pedagogical perspective across all devices. We use um, kind of um, well-researched instructional design principles, um, and of course, kind of across all devices, anytime, anywhere. Second. Um, we help these credentialing bodies improve participation rates. Right? If you think, think from a professional point of view, um, these are non-traditional learners. Right? Um, you know, they have one job, maybe two jobs, family, and then they are kind of you know, trying to get this credential um, and kind of you know, move on or kind of graduate in their professional life. Um, drop-offs um, is a big problem in this industry. And having a very robust candidate experience based on um, kind of uh, a model that is very engaging helps improve participation rates. Last but not the least, in almost all of our engagements, um, we drive revenue. So we are not a cost center, uh, we are a profit center. These are digital learning programs with high margin revenue um, that helps these credentialing bodies and assessment companies um, discover a new stream of revenue. Okay. Um, there, are no, there are no easy solutions um, in this space. I mean, it's extremely difficult to engage a learner, ex extremely difficult to improve outcomes. There are no magic bullets. Right? And that's why when we work with our partners, um, we, we bring a very comprehensive toolkit to them. This is not one mobile app. This is not one adaptive learning solution. This is a combination of a variety of tools um, to help learners succeed. So there is a learning engine. That's where the personalization, game-based learning um, across all devices happens. But there's a content management system that helps um, the content creators within these organizations um, do a good job of creating, managing, editing, and enhancing content. Um, there are data reporting tools. Um, this is a multi-stakeholder world where it's just not about the learner. There are educators involved, parents involved, employers involved, and everyone needs to be connected to be able to drive success for the learner. Um, and that's where the data reporting tools um, sit. There are instructional design services and, of course, fulfillment app um, to support our partners 
deployment um, in, a, in a B2C situation, B2B, uh, or in some cases, B2B2C. Um, that's why world-class companies use bench prep. Um, we work with the likes of uh, ACT, CFA Institute, uh, Computer Technology Industry Association, GMAC, um, Hobson's, HMH, McGraw-Hill, and the list goes on and on and on. Um, just a few examples of kind of the scale. Um, just last year, 1.4 million learners used our platform um, through all those relationships that I showed with, with our partners. Um, we recorded 45 million assessments leading to billions of um, learning activities. Right? Um, great kind of big numbers, but it actually gives us a lot of data to figure out where that drop off is happening or how do we engage learners or what kind of content is working, what modality is working and a combination of all of that. Right? And the results are showing. Um, these are controlled studies. Uh, uh, the one with pass rate is actually very interesting. Um, we did this with one of our partners, HR, Human Resources Certification Institute, where we are seeing that um, the pass rate of the candidates who went through the bench prep powered program are 56% higher than the national average. That's the kind of outcomes um, we want to drive. Okay. Um, I'm gonna skip this slide, just kind of talks about um, the philosophy, the product design philosophy that's based on usability engineering and product uh, and instructional design um, and a lot of kind of data that is driving that. Okay. Um, just kind of one example, um, you know, we partner with ACT to help uh, college readiness, opportunity, and success for low-income students. Um, uh, this, we launched this partnership um, almost kind of 18 months ago, uh, and a part of this partnership is to help low-income students get free access to ACT online prep. Right? Um, if we use the digital kind of learning initiative, these are the kind of uh, impact that we can drive. Um, we work with CFA Institute that's using our platform to enable participation rate and success rates for um, CFA program, CIPM, um, and a bunch of other programs. Uh, we work with CompTIA um, to, to engage learners um, and for continuing education programs for all of these certifications. Um, and we are only getting started. Um, we have been around for almost seven years now um, doing these, these specific model uh, for about three years. Uh, we are seeing 10x revenue growth in the last two years. Um, we are profitable, we are cash flow positive. Um, I'm very proud of the team. Um, in fact, my co-founder is here, Ujwal. Um, so you can kind of go and ask him questions as well after this. Um, very lean, we were 17 last, uh, by the end of last year, um, 27 today, um, and kind of 35 by the, by the end of this year. Um, we definitely cannot do this alone, um, and that's why you would have seen I keep on saying partners to customers. We have very close relationship with, uh, with our customers. But we are, looking, we are looking for all kinds of innovative partnerships. Anyone who can help us help the learner, um, we are open to a conversation. Thank you.